Hello food lovers. Welcome to Dr. Chef Kitchen and this is Dr. Madhu. First of all, I would like to wish all the kids a happy and healthy children's day. I still remember and cherish the celebrations and moments we had at my school when I was young and I really miss those days. So on this special occasion, today I'll be doing a recipe with the kids. I'll be guiding them on how to do this recipe and they are going to do it for the first time. And this is a recipe which is loved by all the kids. So please follow the recipe and try to get the kids involved in this recipe as well and you never know they might get inspired and develop interest towards cooking at a very young age. The recipe we are making today is fried ice cream. The crunchiness and the flavor of the outer layer with the ice cream inside gives a very different out of the world taste and this recipe will change the way you eat ice cream forever. So please try it and cook with your kids and enjoy it. Today we're going to be making fried ice cream. You will enjoy this recipe so much. Yesterday we took two scoops of vanilla ice cream, made it into a round ball shape and we froze it overnight. Also um, keep a plastic sheet so that it doesn't stick. Who doesn't like ice cream? This recipe is super simple and you will be eating ice cream like this now. All kids can try this recipe. Cut the bread as shown below. You will need two slices of bread for each ice cream scoop. Each ice cream bowl needs two slices. So take an ice cream bowl and make a round shape with the bread and cover it so there's no spaces like this. If, if you're running short of bread, take three. This is how it should look like. Put this coated ice cream bowl in the freezer for about one hour. So the next thing that you have to do is crack two eggs and beat them. Here are some breadcrumbs. Take off Take out your coated ice cream out of the freezer after freezing one hour and take it and dip it into your egg yolk. Make sure you get it all around the coated ice cream. Then take your breadcrumbs and put it in there. Make sure that you get the breadcrumbs all around and make sure that you make it into a nice ball shape. Also make sure that there aren't any spaces. Take your time with this. Make sure the breadcrumbs are coated all around. This is how it should look like. After completing this, freeze it in the freezer for another two hours. So here's the yummy balls in the in the freezer. Yep, here we go. This is how it should look like. Make sure that it's very hard. The ice cream balls are ready to be fried now. Wow, they look like Tirupati Lentus. These are the toppings we're gonna be using after the ice cream balls are fried. So this is whipped cream, Hershey syrup, candy cherries, and sprinkles. 
Take some oil and fry it in medium flame for just five minutes. Now we're gonna be frying the ice cream balls for 20 seconds. Make sure you're not frying it for any more longer than that because the ice cream will melt. First, put a drizzle of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Then, take your whipped cream and do a small design with it. Take a candied cherry and put it on top. Also, take two strawberries and place it anywhere. And now, lastly, we're gonna take some sprinkles and sprinkle it all over. Hope you enjoy. We cut our fried ice cream in half and this is how the ice cream inside should look like. I hope you all love this recipe. Happy Children's Day and let me show you some moves with hula hoop. Yeah.